Oh, good, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name's Janice, and I'm the owner and creator of the Glamour Club. And um, we were set up to eradicate loneliness and loneliness caused by social isolation. We're dementia friends, we're eco friendly, we're intergenerational for those who are 50 and over, but everybody who's ever suffered from loneliness. And loneliness caused by social isolation is welcome. And uh, we're vintage and we're themed. And you come at noon, you leave at three, you get a served a high tea by table hosts and then live entertainment, all our favorite numbers from the flying 40s to the swing 70s. You're served an afternoon tea, all you can eat and all you can uh, drink um, to, to your table by table hosts. Everyone dance, chats, makes new friends. And then uh, we will go home after having a very nice time. So normally we have five monthly events, but during lockdown, we haven't been able to do that. So um, we have had uh, interactive online events as well. And it's been absolutely marvelous. So today the theme is International Women's Day. So I don't know if you know, but on the 8th of March every year, we celebrate um, International Women's Day. And the first one was uh, in 1909 in New York City. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to welcome my guest this evening. And that is creative and designer, beautiful Meg Fenn. Hi, Meg. <laughs> Good evening to you. Welcome. Hi, Janice. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I think I've been watching too much Graham Norton because they're all their all their virtual guests are always like, oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> well, hello, May. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how we met, please? Yeah, sure. So firstly, about me, um, I'm a creative designer and marketer and I've been working um, in uh, web design, graphic design, uh, mainly for, um, well, I'm not even going to say how many years, but many, many, many years. Um, I've been the company director of two different companies, and I am now a, um, a contract designer working with uh, a few um, companies uh, as their sort of go-to design, marketing, uh, web, SEO um, uh, expert, really. Uh, and I'm really very much enjoying that. Um, so Janice, we've known each other for, for quite a few years now, actually. I think probably two to three years. Uh, we sort of run, kept running into each other at various events. And then um, there was one event in particular where I was able to learn a lot more about you and about the Glamour Club. And that was at an event run by uh, Richard Freeman. And it was called The Opposite of Lonely. I think that's what it was called. And it was um, an event uh, that brought together uh, lots of people within the community, through business, uh, through the volunteer sector. Um, and it was really to talk about how we can reimagine the future in terms of, of loneliness and, and isolation. And Janice was one of the speakers at that event uh, and she was amazing. And I learned a lot more about uh, what she does. And I learned that we had um, a couple of things in common as well in terms of our you know, traveling experience and things like that. Um, and she gave a call out on the night and asked for people to volunteer uh, with the Glamour Club. And I felt I felt quite inspired by her story and her mission and her aim uh, with uh, setting up the Glamour Club. And so I volunteer, I signed up to become a volunteer on the night. Um, and then ever since then, I've been volunteering at, at her um, events, uh, which, as she explained earlier, their afternoon teas and uh, people come and gather and have a really fabulous time there's live music uh, they get pampered and i'm one of the table hosts uh, and janice gets me to do uh, asks me to do all sorts of things as well on the day which helps her out and her team out it's all it's all a team of volunteers everybody's a volunteer um, but because of lockdown, uh, I don't know if you want me to say this now, Janice, or if you want to talk about something else first, but yeah, I was I mean, going to talk the about the lockdown. Is, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, Meg, this year's theme of um, 
of International Women's Day, which is a big celebration of women and our allies, you know, everybody's included in this. And the, the Glamour Club is, we're pioneers and we're activists and we're catalysts for good um, social change. We want to challenge the norm and um, we're doing it in a great big fun way. And I, I, I too, Meg, want to say how inspired I've been by you because I met you at lunchtime digital talks while I was networking and you would come in, you would introduce everyone, make people feel welcome. You had a, a plethora of amazing uh, business people who were willing to volunteer their time in order to help others. And it was just fantastic. So I want to, first of all, thank you so much for that and uh, for inspiring me. And yeah, please do tell us about the next bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, you know, obviously we've, we've, as everyone knows, we've gone through a couple of lockdowns. We're still in the second one now. And um, it's been really, really tough because, well, for, for many, many reasons, but in particular for um, organizations and businesses uh, who rely on in-person events, um, you know, to either run their business or to spread the word about what they do uh, or both. And so because, because we've been in lockdown, we haven't had any... Uh, Glamour Club events and I was very aware um, that I still wanted to contribute in some way and help and support Janice and her team and so I, I decided I would use my my skill set and and help Janice with uh, the Glamour Club website because they didn't have a website before they just did um, Facebook and social media and they had flyers and everything um, but one of her plans um, I guess for last year really was to to have a website so that uh, you know they could raise awareness uh, it could be more visible online people could find out about the glamour club um, in in lots of different ways and then also book tickets to um, belong to the glamour club online through the website uh, and so I instead of using my volunteer time in person at the events I um, uh, gave some time to to help Janice to create the the brand new Glamour Club website, um, and I've been very you know pleased that I've been able to do that. And um, you know I think on the theme of International Women's Day as well, it is so much about um, you know just standing up and supporting people, uh, at, you know other uh, fellow women, uh, fellow colleagues, you know, anybody that needs support. And uh, I'm very much uh, in into that um, when I feel that there's something that I can contribute. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. And I tell you what, I, what I've been doing is I've been providing Meg with the content and um, then she comes back with the design. So I have no idea um, what it's going to look like. And I, I think what it is, is because you totally get us and you're really into our mission of eradicating loneliness and loneliness caused by social isolation. And because you've been to our events, you have experienced the whole Glamour Club experience. And so when I opened the, the draft that you had come up with, I think I just wept. Meg, you just <laughs> get us. And I've been working before you offered to do this for with the senior graphic designer um, and we come up with new logos and branding and so he is somebody that I would consider to be very good at his craft and when I asked him what he thought he said to me you smashed it because he thought <laughs> I'd done that <laughs> <laughs> oh well that's that's great Janice I mean you know you you did it by creating the glamour club basically <laughs> But also, I just wanted to, to, to say, to pick up on something that you said about me kind of getting it and getting what you do. I've had firsthand experience, not, not as a person over um, 50 yet. Uh, I will be 50 this year, actually. Um, I don't know if I should say that on this public, very public video, but <laughs> I've been thinking about my age a lot recently. Um, but when I first came to the UK to live, to work and to live, uh, I experienced loneliness and social isolation on a level that I had never, ever experienced before in my life. Um, and I, you know, I had come from, um, you know, kind of, I was, I had been living in Tokyo at the time and I had a very, you know, very 
a big kind of social life. I had lots of people that I was always going out with. I had, you know, lots of colleagues uh, and work people. And my life was, was in, you know, always out, always doing things, always uh, being with people and knowing people and, and sharing, uh, sharing everything with people. And then when I came here, that all completely stopped. And I, I hadn't really understood um, to that level how, how crushing and how, um, you know, kind of damaging that you know social isolation and loneliness can be for someone and so I understood what Janice was trying to do and I understood the joy that um you know people feel uh, by coming to the glamour club and being able to you know to socialize and to see people and to meet people and to have that sort of as their um you know, this is my group, this is my thing that I do. You know, I didn't have anything like that. I mean, I came here uh, before sort of the age of the internet. So there was no meetup, there's no Facebook, there was no, there were no sort of online places where you could find people and, and go somewhere. So it was, it was very, it was a very lonely and isolating time. And so because I, I went through that experience, I, I immediately felt a connection and felt that I understood what Janice was, was doing. Thanks a lot, Meg. I mean, it does take guts to share that. So thank you so much for telling us your story. I think it's really important that people do tell their stories. And at the Glamour Club, everyone who comes, I've got a thousand stories. You know, you look at our faces, you don't know what we've been through. So what we do at the Glamour Club is we put everyone together, we get out the fancy dress, we dress up and we just have a great time. So we are challenging the status quo and we're doing it in a great big fun way because um, that's who we are, you know, everyone's welcome. And when you come to the Glamour Club as a volunteer, as a guest, as, as someone who wants to sponsor us or every single person has a brilliant time and then they can't wait to come back again. So I say happy International Women's Day. Meg, I think we've gone over our time. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, we can um, end. We can end on this year's theme, which is choose to challenge. Choose to challenge. Choose to challenge, Meg. I'm up for the challenge. Choose to challenge. Thanks Me a lot, too. Meg. Thanks, Thank Janice. You for your time as always. Thank you. Bye.